After getting the concept of linear pair of the angles, now we can easily understand vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle. You might have heard this word before from your uh, from your teacher or from your elder brother or sister somewhere. You might have seen this. Or if not, then also no problem. We are going to discuss thoroughly. All right. So vertically opposite angle. How do we mean this? What is this angle? All right. Uh, vertically opposite means if we have the two lines. Let's say this is. Uh, two lines or line segment or rays, what you may say, all right? These two lines are intersecting at the point, let's say, O. This is line AB, this is line, let's say, CD, all right? Then here we see the four angles has been formed, all right? And first angle is AOD, which is quite looking similar to angle BOC. Similarly, we have another pair of angle AOC, which is quite similar looking to uh, angle BOD, all right? And opposite angles like AOD is just opposite of BOC or I can say BOC is just opposite of AOT AOD all right so these two angles are equal and are called vertically opposite angles similarly here AOC is opposite of angle DOB and similar DOB I can say is opposite of AOC so that time these two angles are also called vertical opposite angles and are equal I mean to say angle AOD all right angle AOD this angle is equal with angle BOC all right is angle BOC later we'll prove it and angle AOC I'm talking about this angle angle AOC is equal with angle BOD all right so if we want to prove then we have to do a small a figure we need to make or we can do in, in this figure also all right uh, let's draw a small figure again let's say uh, let's say this is line PQ and this is line RS all right this is point O and here if you look this POS is opposite of angle ROQ so these are vertically opposite angle right let's say this angle is POS is X and ROQ is Y we know that these are equal but we need to prove so if we can uh, if we become able to prove that x is equal with y then we can say 100% all right without any hesitation that opposite vertically opposite angles are always and always equal all right so here angle x which is angle pos and this is soq angle all right i'm talking about this angle uh, this angle so i'm going to say here angle pos plus angle SOQ is 180 degree and the reason of this is this is a straight line you know uh, this is a straight line and uh, the angle formed in a straight line is 180 degree or you can use the concept of linear pair these two are linear pair angles and sum of the linear pair is 180 degree all right linear pair angles pair angles so now POS is actually X and plus SOQ all right that is 180 so I can say that angle SOQ is 180 degree minus X all right so how much we got we get 180 minus X now again again if you see you know this is a pretty straight line right means again this angle 180 minus X and Y is the linear pair so the sum of this linear pair angle should be 180 degree all right so again this is linear pair uh, linear pair all right so this 180 and 181 calcium it up and from here this minus x will go another side so it will be x here and y will be here it means y is equal with x means this angle is equal with this angle it means vertically opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal all right so by using this you know we, we have to solve a lot of type of the problems like sometimes you'll get uh, this is 3x all right and this is 60 all right 60 degree so what is the value of x so that time since these are vertically opposite angles so simply you can write 3x equals to uh, 60 degree all right and that time x will be 60 degree divided by 3 that is 20 degree therefore x equals to 20 degree so like this you know uh, you need to use a lot of problems you know you have to solve based on the vertically opposite angle i hope you understand it